now by Gabe Nystein. He is the he is the fund development director of the Midnight Golf Program, a shared Detroit supported charity and nonprofit. Uh, Gabe, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Tyler. Appreciate having you on. So, uh, give us a little bit of a background on on Midnight Golf and its history. Sure. So the Midnight Golf Program um, is a youth development program located in Southeast Michigan. We serve about um, 250 students starting their senior year of high school. Um, and then we stay with them through college and into the workplace. Um, so we've served about 3,700 students since we began in 2001. And our origin really, we, we started um, as our founder, Renee Fluker, um, saw a need, um, something that she saw from her own son, Jason, who is a high school um, senior and member of the golf team at um, Detroit Jesuit um, High School. And he was one of the only um, uh, members of, of the team that were, were black on the team and, and saw the benefits that the game of golf had in his life and opening doors for his life post high school and wanted to start a program like that for other young people um, in the community. So that's how Midnight Golf was born. And, and, and now we, we've been serving students in the same way um, for over, for over uh, 20 years. So we're excited to speak about it. So for over 20 years of service to, to our local area through the Midnight Golf Program, uh, what are some of the uh, events or, or programs or initiatives uh, that are commonplace for this organization year by year? Yeah, so, so once you start with us, you'll have about um, 250 students, half male, half female. Um, we are represented by about 65 different high schools throughout Southeast Michigan. And what it will look like, starting your senior year, you're gonna go through an after-school program, 30 weeks. Um, you'll go to our program twice a week after school for three hours a session. And throughout your experience with Midnight Golf, you're going to get a full-time staff member who's your college success coach, who's gonna stay with you, um, help you prepare for school, um, stay with you through college, ensure that you um, have financial resources, that you're staying in class, um, getting an internship and job opportunities um, in, in high school and make sure that you're on track to earn your degree and, uh, and, and really just stay on track. We're trying to provide proactive support. You're also gonna get a volunteer mentor. Um, we have about 60 mentors who volunteer about um, 400 hours of their time every year to make sure that you also have opportunities. You're going to learn life skills. So anything from dining etiquette, public speaking, resume building, um, financial literacy, you name it, we're gonna provide you with those as part of our program. And then of course, we are also gonna provide you with scholarships, um, financial aid, and we're also going to provide you with your own brand new set of golf clubs at the end of the program. So you can take with what you learn um, in the program and apply it going forward. So a lot of initiatives along, um, uh, the experience is long, but it's, it's something that um, we believe transitions students well um, for their future. We're joined by Gabe Nystein, the Fund Development Director of the Midnight Golf Program, joining us on the MegaCast. A little more information about the nonprofit by visiting midnightgolf.org. That is midnightgolf.org. And so you mentioned, uh, of course, the mentorship uh, aspect of Midnight Golf is vitally important. For those that may be interested uh, in being a mentor with your organization, what, what are some of those qualifications or just general qualities that Midnight Golf is looking for in a mentor, and how can people get involved? Yeah, absolutely. So mentorship is one of the many ways you can get involved. To be a mentor, it's it's a it's a big time commitment. I mentioned um, you do have to be part of our thirty week after school program, and, and which is not conducive to a lot of people's lives. But for those who um, who can participate, you just need to be twenty five years or older. And we take applications, which is on our website, as you mentioned, midnightgolf.org, um, for our next class, which will start next fall. Um, so if you're interested, the application is there. We'd love to have you, and I'd be happy to tell you more about what that would look like. And if mentorship is not something that you're interested in, we certainly have some programming and volunteer opportunities throughout the year, um, all of which are, are listed on our website. We have something coming up in March called um, Speed Mentoring, um, March 2nd and 3rd, um, which is virtual with chance for you, kind of like speed dating, but you're you're talking to students in small groups um, about your own career path and and just kind of best practices that can help them um, as they're in this kind of exciting um, time of transition in their lives. So things like that, we have events. We have a, a fundraiser um, called our Bolathon, which raises money for our um, road trip for success. That's going to be Saturday, March 26th. 
Um, you can register on our website for that as well. Lots of things going on. Go to our website, visit our social media, um, and we'd love to get you plugged in to help our students. And so, uh, Gabe, the mentorship aspect of, the, of this program being so important, uh, and especially at that time of, of, of a young person's life when they are in a great transition as they're kind of coming out of their uh, late childhood and their teen years and, and into their emerging adulthood, having that mentorship, having that guidance during that uh, tricky time uh, as, as uh, young people are trying to figure out uh, who they are, who they want to be, where they want to go in life can be so important. Uh, can you give us an example of some success stories from the Midnight Golf program of people that, uh, of young people that have uh, gone through this experience, have had that mentor-mentee relationship, and then gone on to have that impact the, their life in many positive ways after the fact. Yeah, absolutely. So as you mentioned, you, we all can think back to, to this time in our lives. Your, your senior year of high school, you're excited to be graduating, maybe get out of your house for the first time in your, in your life. And we all benefited from some help along the way. Um, and so our mentorship program really just exposes students to experiences um, people to go advocate on their behalf. And we've seen so many examples. I, I mentioned 3,700 students have gone through this program and have benefited um, from, from our program and from mentorship specifically. They're meeting their mentors their senior year, um, and then many of our mentors stay involved. They, they take them out to lunch. Um, they, they visit them and, and host them for Thanksgiving dinners. Um, you know, it, they help them move into dorm rooms. Um, when they're going into school, they might not have um, some extra money to uh, get home um, for the holidays. All, all of these things, it, it, it's really such a group effort. Um, we, we, the cliche is it takes a village, and, and I think our mentorship program is, is really such a great example of people in our community rallying behind our students and really going the extra mile to ensure students have opportunities to succeed. We all, we all really can benefit from that. We're joined by Gabe Neistein, the Fund Development Director of the Midnight Golf Program, joining us on the Megacast. More information at midnightgolf.org. That is midnightgolf.org. And as you mentioned, uh, Saturday, March 26th at Thunderbolt Lanes in Allen Park uh, will be your uh, annual Bowlathon event. Tell us about the event and how people uh, can get involved if they would like to participate. Yeah, if, if you haven't participated in our Bowlathon, it's one of the more fun ways to get involved with the program. Um, we'll have our mentors, some of our students there. Um, it's kind of a, a cool, um, fun, low-cost way to support our program. We raise about a hundred thousand dollars through this event to support our road trip for success, which is a week-long bus tour um, where we take our students um, to different college campuses, cultural institutions. We're going to Nashville. Um, in Atlanta this year. So um, it, it's a fun way to, to raise some support around this really transformational trip. Um, visit our website. You can register a team. We, we have teams up to five, which include three games, um, shoes, food, and drink um, for the eve, for the gray afternoon. It starts at um, about one o'clock, goes to three. Sponsorship opportunities. Um, and we're always looking for, we have a raffle on site too, so raffle items as well. So visit us, midnightgolf.org slash bowl for that event. And that event again, Saturday, March 26th, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The uh, Bowlathon uh, for Midnight Golf. Visit midnightgolf.org for more information and for uh, the Bowlathon specific, uh, specifically, as Gabe said, Midnight Bowl. I'm sorry, midnightgolf.org slash bowl. Wrong sports, flipping them around. Midnightgolf.org. <laughs> Play a lot of sports. Bowl. It's a golf yes. organization for bowling events. It's it's all good fun. Yes. Again, midnightgolf.org slash bowl. And so, uh, Gabe, for those that would like to get involved uh, in the mid in the midnight golf program, huh? get their kids involved, uh, have a young person in their life, that, and their kid, maybe a student of theirs involved in the program. How can they go, go about you know, getting that person signed up uh, for the Midnight Golf Program and getting them into the mentorship program and all the other great benefits that come with being part of this program? 
Yeah, absolutely. So applications are, are live and available on our website, uh, midnightgolf.org slash apply, or you can just go to our, our homepage, you'll, you'll find it there. The program is for any student um, who is going to become a senior in high school next year, so class of 2023, that is available. Um, for anybody who wants to get involved, um, visit our website or Share Detroit. We have some volunteer opportunities that are updated on Share Detroit's website. Um, mentorship is a great way, but also we, we just have some great events. Um, come see our program in action if you have a, a, a prospective student who wants to get a, a feel for the program or you, you are a company that wants to um, offer some jobs and internships to our students. There's no better way to, to learn about Midnight Golf than seeing it in action and, and meeting our incredible students. So um, that, that's the best way to get involved. We're joined by Gabe Neistein, Fund Development Director at Midnight Golf uh, Program. Uh, you can learn more information on their website, midnightgolf.org. That is midnightgolf.org. And so at this time, Gabe, um, of course, the mentorship, volunteering for mentorship uh, would, would be vitally important. Uh, any donations to an organization like yours or any a charity or nonprofit, always welcome and always very important. But what are other ways at this time uh, that are important uh, important to the organization that people can get involved uh, and help the Midnight Golf program as it moves itself forward and continues to uh, be, be, be a benefit for many young people in our communities. Yeah, there's there's so many ways to to help us. We're in an exciting period of growth. Um, we have, I mentioned uh, about 2,500. Um, I'm sorry, 250 students in the high school portion of our program every year. We get about 800 to 900 applications every year. So we're looking to grow so that we can serve even more kids. The best way to, to do that is help us with a donation, um, but also come and, and volunteer your time, um, help our students find internships and jobs. Um, just there's so many ways to get involved. Those are some of the easy ones and, and we would be so appreciative. We're joined by Gabe Neistein, Fund Development Director of the Midnight Golf Program on the Megacast. Gabe, another couple minutes with you before we'll need to say goodbye today. Anything else that would be important at this time for our audience to know about your organization? Anything else coming up through the Midnight Golf Program or other topics we haven't discussed today? Sure. So I, I, you're probably wondering our name, the Midnight Golf Program. A lot of people ask how we got our name. Um, we do not play golf at midnight, but we did. We were started as part of a national initiative called the Midnight Basketball Program, which was a way to keep students, um, give them an activity, something to do after school um, to stay out of trouble. So Midnight Golf was kind of born out of the Midnight Basketball Program. But I mentioned our founder, um, Ms. Renee Fluker, um, really had a connection with the game of golf. And, and, and the game um, really opens doors for students. We're not training um, students to be next professional golfers or even to play at the collegiate level, though some do. But golf is a way, um, there's so many, so many life lessons you can learn from the game. And to have that as a tool in your tool belt as you're going forward, we all know um, business happens on the golf course. And so we, we um, use golf as, a, as one of the many tools for students to get ahead in life and, and we it's it's a core part of our program it's the hook it's the fun part um but really what we're um what we're looking for is to equip students with all kinds of life skills so um we'd love to get anybody involved gabe thank you very much for your time and telling us more about uh, midnight golf absolutely thanks for having me